Welcome back to this World of Warcraft Let's Play. Yo, it's Sambo, and joining us, as always, is Seraphis, our level 35 Worgen Mage. Say good day, Seraphis. Fate has brought you here to me. Fate has indeed brought us here to Farwatch's Glen. And of course, if you were with us in the last episode, you'll remember that we'd been given a very special set of equipments here on our back. You can see it right there. There they are. I'd use those. Yeah. As you can tell, we've got ourselves a rocket pack on our back. There we are. Salisbury's rocket pack. And you can see here, the use is to propel ourselves through the air towards a target destination and that it is enabled. So exactly what do we have to do well good question here we go on the old map you can see you may remember that down below us here is the remains of the charred veil and you can see that one of our objectives here is actually to ascend into the charred veil that's this one here and another objective of ours is for the hungry pups from the little beast master that's wandering around here with his little doggies you see we've got to go get six black dragon whelp fillets and we also have to get a blazing heart of fire and of course that's an interesting one that one that's um excuse me <laughs> that's called world first gnomegin which of course is great because uh, as you know there's achievements uh, called world firsts things like when a expansion is released uh, you know the first person to get the highest level enchanting or something like that or the first person to get to level 85 will always get a world first achievement or server first and uh, I think that's a play on there so you can see here this one here this is the uh, little gnome if you like and he's saying within the charred veil uh, south of here roam newly created fire elementals I desperately need a rare blazing heart of fire from one of the fiends get it for me and you bring me one step closer to becoming a gnomegin so some kind of bizarre cross between a gnome and a worgen yeah somehow I think he's going to be just a little bit disappointed but uh, anyhow Alright, so if Vista will calm down, I think the first thing we need to do here, as you can see, is ascending the veil. So we have to ascend into the charred veil. So I'm guessing that all we need to do is activate our rocket pack and we'll be off. Now as we have a look, and by the way, look at that beautiful sunset view there. It's about, what is it, about 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. at night here in Australia. And of course, the server I'm playing on is an oceanic server, so it's real time. And is that not just a stunning view or what? You can see the sun slowly setting off in the distance there. And that's pretty much mimicking what it's like outside here in Australia at the moment. It's exactly the same time of day. And that, of course, is because WoW runs on a real time 24-hour clock. Very cool. Cool. Anyway, what else should be very cool is this Salisbury's rocket pack. Let's give it a go and fingers crossed, see what happens. Oh, you need to be in the charred veil? Oh, what? That's no good. I thought it was going to take us into the charred veil. Oh, okay. Well, maybe if we get a little bit closer to the edge or something, we may actually step into the charred veil zone itself. Let's also make sure we activate molten armor. All right. No, well, this is weird. Let's just read this again. Um, use Salisbury's rocket pack to ascend the charred veils volcano. All right, so maybe we have to go down in there first and then maybe it's just for ascending the volcano, I suppose. Yeah, oh yeah, okay, that's what it is. Salisbury here has configured a device that will allow us to uh, ascend the volcano. Use it to get to the top and assess the goings on. Ah, okay, all right. So we have to get down in there uh, very first. Whoops, my bad. I thought that was going to actually take us in. That's okay. It's an opportunity for us to get on our brand new Night Elf mount, of course, which we're very proud of, and uh, run it there. So it looks like we have to sort of leg it up and around and of course this is going to basically take us the way that you used to get into the charred veil so I'm kind of glad that that hasn't changed and that is basically down the middle here down the middle of the zone so I'm assuming that we probably have to go right around we'll pop over to the edge here and just take a look I don't think we can jump down there I'd say it's too far yeah no okay so it's just over the rise there oh, oh, oh. although of course we can see we're not going to go past a tin vein here we are. Alright. And that's interesting. We've got some sentinels here 
that are, look at this, the Stone Talon Sentinels that are actually beating up on a Stone Talon Ram. What the heck? Okay, that's the first time I've ever seen that. I'd imagine, oh, and there goes another one throwing its glaives at the ram. Oh! And it just got knocked away. That's bizarre. You'd think that they'd be attacking the horde for sure. But uh, in this case, by the way, it looks like the ram is winning. The ram's about 75% health. And you can see that this stone towel and water, unless, yeah, I don't think they're going to survive. Now, this is hilarious. This has got two, two wardens actually beating up on it. And yet it's going to kill this stone towel and water here. Let's see what happens. Here we go. How is that? You go for it, Stone Talon Ram. Oh, and another one. How bizarre. I wonder why on earth they're programmed to be aggro I against each other. No idea. Anyway, here we go, down into the Charred Vale. Now, once again, I'm going to have a look out over here, because that's, yeah, there it is. That's the old pathway down. Oh, 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 oh. You can see what I can see. It's some tin. So let's get that. Yeah, so this up the top here never used to be here, right where we are. That down there did though, and basically it used to be the only path down into the Vale. Very interesting. So that's kind of the old historical route that you'd go in to get that way. Um, and up there, by the way, is how you would actually get up into Sunrock Retreat. And if we have a look on the map here, you can see basically that's going to take us up here, and then Sunrock Retreat is all in the center there. Um, so yeah. It's good to see that that's all still intact, that they haven't completely uh, got rid of it all. But once again, all of this up here, this is new. This was just inaccessible um, mountainous terrain in the old days, if you like. So I think what we shall do, let's have a look and see. Yeah, okay, this is just a plateau. Let's go down for nostalgia's sake. There we go, discovered Battlestick uh, Scar Valley. Let's go down for nostalgia's sake into the old way of doing things. Oh yeah, this brings back so many memories. Wow. And in here used to be a bunch of harpies and wervens, by the way. And uh, it'll be interesting to see if they're still here. I'm guessing that they're probably not because of the cataclysm. They've probably all been killed. And instead what we'll probably find is a bunch of elementals, I'd say. Here we go, the charred veil. We are here. All right, it's exceptionally charred now. And I'd say that that's the volcano up the other end there. Let's have a look on the old map. And yep, there you go. You can see now it is completely smothered in lava and flames. It used to be charred, but never as much as this, obviously, in the past. All right, so let's go down and see if we can find ourselves some black dragon. Oh, look at that, black drake. Wow, level 29 Dragonkin. Now that there is not the whelp stuff that we need, but it's interesting to note that there are some black drakes flying around. Now if you haven't seen a dragon in the wild, so to speak, in WoW before, I will that Frostbolt range. get to it? No, just got out of range. Let's see if we can get in range before it gets out of range. There we go, we pulled it. Good stuff. And here we go, fighting an actual black drake. And that's the good old sound of drakes, of course. And there we go. So sad to kill such majestic creatures, isn't it? Very cool. Here we go. That's our first major dragon kill, I think. And we can skin it as well. <laughs> Sorry about that, Mr. Drake. Now, you know before I was talking about the harpies that used to be here. There you go. That's proving me right. That is an old harpy nest right there. That's what that is. They kind of look like big uh, wasps nests, if you like. That is absolutely backing up my statement that there were harpies here. <clears throat> In fact, they used to be nasty harpies. In fact, there you go. You can see a bunch of their nests in the trees there. Um, and yeah, I guess they must have got wiped out by the cataclysm. What boggles me still with this zone is that this is completely empty. Like all around here, this should normally be teeming with wildlife. I mean, this isn't the charred part. There's no, you know, molten lava here or anything like that. So I don't understand why Blizzard wouldn't have populated it more with creatures. I mean, yes, we've got the odd cockroach, etc. But look at it, it's just empty. Oh, no, look at that. There's actually a harpy and it's a rare. I Maybe this is one of the only ones there. left. Wow, I'm really glad we came over here. This is the only harpy I've seen in the entire zone. 
and it's a rare sister ribbon there we go aren't we lucky with our rares throughout this uh whoa okay it did a flame strike on us we're very lucky with our rares in this particular series there we go Right, and we got a Phalanx Cloak of the Monkey there by the looks of things. And that's unfortunately Agility and Stamina. So that's not much use to us, but certainly of course will be of great use to put up on the Auction House without a doubt. Alright, so maybe that's just their sort of passing tribute there. One remaining sort of hello to what used to be here from Blizzard by putting a rare, just the one rare Harpy in the zone maybe. Very interesting. Love to know what their reasoning was for that. Anyway, we need to head deeper into the charred part of the charred veil. Here we go, because <clears throat> we've got some tasks to do, of course. We've got to ascend the volcano. We've got to get six black dragon whelp fillets, and we've got to get a blazing heart of fire. Now, it's going to be difficult because I actually can't see any mobs at all. Very strange. I guess they're further in. What do we got up here? Oh, yep, there we go. There's the black dragon whelps. And not sure that I can see any element. Oh, yep, there we go. There's the Fisherborn elementals it's as well. All right, so it looks like our task is cut out for us pretty black and white. Let's fight some fire with fire. Oh, that was nasty. I didn't notice that. They spawned some kind of thing which came at us. All right, looks like this is going to be a random drop as well, by the way. They spawned something that came at us. We'll have to look more closely uh, next time we fight one of those guys. Here we go, a little Drac Blagan Whelp. Now, of course, this would be a familiar sight to you guys. Whoa, what? What's that? How did I kill that with one shot? Anyway, there we go, a Black Dragon Whelp fillet. We've got one of those, and we can see it in our bags there. It just says it's a quest item. Why is that 221? So I don't, uh, yeah, okay, they don't have a whole bunch of health, although they are giving us XP. You can see there that they are level 28 and that they are giving us, okay, 50 XP. Now, the sound and the look of these whelps may bring back, oh, and we can skin them, of course, may bring back some nightmares to some of these, uh, some of our older players uh, who farm these. Now, there's a lot of farming of whelps that goes on basically for a pet to get a little dragonling pet of your own non-combat pet of course so I'd say that there are people out there who have farmed thousands and thousands of these and of course basically uh, whelps are normally the bane of your existence and that sound anyone here who remembers Red Ridge Mountains now I haven't been back there since the cataclysm but gee back in the day oh what's going on Wow, they are some nasty spells that they can cast there. Anyhow, you're back in the day, back in Red Ridge Mountains, of course, you would be plagued by the things as you were trying to do your questing. And you'd come across an area just over the bridge out the front there by the flight point. And boy, if you got caught up on a whelp, this is doing it at level, of course. It was all over Rover. They were nasty, nasty things. And they used to be the bane of my existence back then. And look at that, the mum up the top there, the black drake swooping around, keeping an eye on her flock, so to speak. So yeah, hopefully if you've played lots of WoW in the past, that will absolutely be a familiar sound to you. Again, very handy that uh, we're able to skin these guys as well. You can see there our skinning is now up to 175. We'll double check in a second and see what we're out. Oh, well, look at that. One shot at it. Good Lord. Okay, so skinning is 175, soon to be 176 out of 240. So effectively, we need every single skin that we can get. Now, I wonder if this rocket pack is going to allow us to... Oh, it is. Look at that. All right, so that's how we get around on the mountain. Interesting. Very cool, too. Right, you can see there that our Frost Nova had quite a wide area of effect. Can get out of the way of that as well. Oops, and I'm aggroing everything around here. All right, this could be tricky. All right, <laughs> somehow we managed to scrape out of that one. And, of course, big reason for that being that the little whelps have very, very few hit points. 
so we're kind of lucky but okay there you go that rocket pack is exceptionally handy isn't it from getting from one place to another because honestly i'm not sure how we'd normally get over there so let's aim up and up up and away there we go oh oh no can't quite stick to the side of that mountain that's okay though because we aggroed these guys which is kind of what we want to do i guess There we go. Now, have we picked ourselves up a Black Dragon Whelp fillet? Yes, we've got three out of six. Can I get up there, though? Don't think so. Don't. Oh, just managed to be able to stick to the side there and enough to be in range to be able to skin it, etc. Let's see if we can jump up. Yep, all right, we stuck to that one okay. But yeah, definitely getting ourselves to some pretty normally impossible places to get, uh, thanks to the rocket pack. we are five out of six of our fillets and we want to head over there and once again thank goodness there's no cooldown for this all right there's a whole bunch of them here once again though not too too worried As long as Mama Drake doesn't notice, we should be okay. Alright, I definitely like getting all of these hides. As you can see there, it's basically increasing our skinning for every single one of these that we kill at the moment. So it's basically a 100% hit rate in terms of leveling up our skinning. Although, look at that, just made a liar out of me. I don't think that particular one there raised it up. No, it didn't, but that one did, so that was not so bad. All right, there we go, up to 184 for our skinning. And now 185. All right, let's see if we can uh, grab this guy from back here. Yep. And again, basically one-shotting him. All right, jetpack, go, go. Woo! And what a view up there. And there we go, ascending the veil. The gnome quarter has sprung into life. The gnome quarter crackles with energy. You can see there, I say, are you there, Seraphis? It would appear that you are in the center of a dragon's lair. Very interesting. The gnome quarter buzzes. First of all, we're just going to get rid of these dragon whelps. Whoops. There we go. All right, it says, be careful, Seraphis. You do not want to rouse that black dragon. Oh, okay, I see what he's talking about. Now, look around you. If this is a nest, then there must be black dragon eggs nearby. Search the premises for eggs and destroy any that you see. Should you find and destroy any... Uh, rather, return to me. Should you find and destroy cell Daria's uh, eggs? Her legs? Good lord. All right, that's what you get for trying to do two things at once combat and read text yeah all right so our task here is to destroy five of Seldaria's eggs you can see we get a nice cow there which is actually a item for our head interestingly enough look at that that's very cool it's like a rogues bandits mask of course I much prefer our little uh, top hat here, but you can see that this actually does have greater stats whole bunch more armor uh, a lot more intellect and a lot more stamina So ooh, it's gonna be a tough decision Anyhow, this is what we're talking about here. Here we go dragon eggs for a start Goodness me. Okay, this is scary and up there. We've got Seldaria level 30 dragonkin elite So that is a fully full-on big named Drake up there. That is incredible That's the full dragon model as opposed to uh, the ones that are flying around by the way there we go They're the Drakes there and you can see they've actually got like a, a less mature character model, if you like, than the big guys here. These are the sort of uh, dragons up the top here that you normally find in raids and five-man instances and stuff like that. And oh my god, doesn't the sun look fantastic? Anyway, let's see if we can take her eggs, or rather destroy them. There we go. And once again, this may bring back harrowing memories for you guys if you've ever done the Netherwing rep. So, of course, this is out in, let me show you where it is. If we go out to the Outlands, which is, of course, a Burning Crusade expansion pack. If you go up to Netherstorm here, 
down here we've got this ledge and all around there is the netherwing faction of course if you're trying to get your netherwing uh, drake your mount which is the beautiful see-through purple and black dragons that you can get from down there now by the way I, was, I have definitely got that rep it took a very long time and a lot of effort but that's where you do it part of getting the rep is to try and find the netherwing eggs and so if you've ever done that before these will be very familiar with you because you will have want to have come across these wherever possible because they give you a whole bunch of netherwing faction rep which uh, really go a long way to re uh, sort of reducing the grind I guess uh, required to get the netherwing exalted so yeah that may bring back horrible memories for you here we go five out of five now let's see if we can pick ourselves off one of these Fisherborn fire elementals because of course we still need to get a blazing heart of fire. That's for our little gnome who believes that they're going to turn into a worgen. Alright, fingers crossed. Oh, and look at that, we got the blazing heart of fire. There it is there. That's it, and it just says it's a unique quest item. No problem. Now let's have a look and see what we have to do. I think we've got nothing but returns here. Return to Houndmaster Jonathan at Farwatch's Glen in Stone Talon Mountains. No problem. We've also got uh, return to Hierophant Malik at Farwatch's Glen, and that's because of the uh, eggs that we've destroyed. And, of course, we also have to destroy uh, return to Salisbury with the Heart of Gold. Uh, rather, not the Heart of Gold, the Heart of Fire. What is up with me today? Good lord, must need uh, sleep, I think. Let's see if we can still use this rocket pack. We can! Alright, so let's just keep that open. And maybe it'll just make for a slightly faster way of getting down the mountain. Along with a blink. Woohoo! I mean, hey, we've got it. Might as well use it, right? Come on. That's if Winda, Winda, Vista ever decides to stop messing about. Good lord, it gets frustrating sometimes. There we go. Seems to have calmed down. <clears throat> Must have had a hard day, have you, Vista? Poor old Vista. Oh, no, it's gonna go slow again. Alright, we'll just uh, quickly fix this up and be right back. Alright, and we're back folks, and it's all perfectly back to normal and I didn't do anything. All I did was stop recording and start again, and yeah. Vista decided that that was enough for things to come right, for whatever reason. Anyway, alright, I can see over here we've got ourselves a ore node, so a tin vein there, we're absolutely going to grab that. Now I wonder if I can use this rocket pack to actually get up this part of the mountain. Something tells me I won't be able to, but hey, we'll give it a go. See how far this actually reaches. And over to there, let's see what happens. Yeah, we might be able to. Bit of a sort of cheat. See if we can just jump up here a little bit. There we go. Alright, will it allow us to scramble our way over there? Yes, it will. Alright, this beats uh, running around the long way, that's for sure. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, excellent. You must be in the charred veil. Will it get us over this last bit? Yes, it will. There we go. And the uh, Far Watchers Glen just got ourselves up here. And again, saving ourselves the big run around. Like that. Like that a lot. All right. So here we are, Houndmaster Jonathan. We are back with your Black Dragon Whelp fillets. Excellent. The dogs will be well fed and ready to defend our outposts for weeks. There we go. Two and a half K worth of XP and some Gilneas reputation. That's very interesting because, uh, as you know, we don't really have a well don't have a whole lot of that you can see we're about halfway on our way to uh, exalted so any Gilneas reputation that comes in will be gratefully accepted 
All right, here we go. We've been walled up for the blood of long. Seldaria, a smashing success, perhaps only a minor victory against the brood of Deathwing, but a victory nonetheless. All right, so once again, I'm a bit sad that we're going to lose our top hat. Uh, but, oh, well, let's take that anyway because it does have much better stats. Enemy. And you can see another 2.5k XP, taking us to basically 2 and 3 quarter bars out from level 36. So we're leveling awfully fast here. Uh, let's see what Salisbury has to say. Have you recovered the Blazing Heart of Fire? Excellent. This will allow me to finish my last task and hopefully gain the form of the wolf. Yeah, good luck with that, buddy. Is he going to do anything? Cabin or get going. No. All right, so, I don't know, maybe that'll come up later on in the storyline, perhaps. Uh, we may actually get a bit of a surprise and see him coming out as a werewolf. That would be pretty funny. All right, now, this is interesting. I seem to have run out of quests. Although we've got this one down here. Northwatch could really use a powerful worgen like you. We're taking a beating, beating in the Southern Barons and need your help. Are you interested in lending the Alliance a hand? The bomb, yeah, it's a problem. But Stone Talon isn't exactly prime real estate. This place was a dump before the Horde sunk their claws into it. I'll leave the choice in your hands. If you want to help us out in the Barons, take my horse, Blue Steel. He's grazing at the crossroads south of here. He'll get you past the Orc Blockade. So, that's interesting. That was from up there. Now, what's this one down here? Desolus. I can't believe... No, surely not... No, is that it? Surely that can't be it for quests in here. That they just run out so quickly. No. Surely not. I'm just trying to think... Because that's not where we want to go. And, of course, the other thing is... Is that we haven't actually explored up the top here. Uh, because presumably there's quests up there. What is that? A Kromgar Demolisher. Why is that showing up on the minimap? Okay, this is most bizarre. I think what we're going to have to do is basically look it up and see if I've missed anything. Because up on this map, you can see up the top here, well, you may not be able to on the YouTube video, but basically there's a little cave there. And that little indicator would tell me that there's a passageway through the mountain range and into that green uh, grassy area to the very northwest of the zone. Um, because surely that's not all just unused real estate. I'm, I honestly don't know. But we've run out of all the quests down here as well. I, no. I guess we've done everything there. We've done everything in Windshear Hold. I guess this zone, is, it's been a bizarre zone, I'll tell you that, folks, because apart from the fact that it's been completely underpopulated outside, of course, for the wonderful area around the Sludge Works there with our great gnome sort of uh, excursion over there, apart from that, it's been pretty underwhelming, I guess would be a word, to be honest. So what I'll do is uh, I'll definitely look that up on a wiki to see if I'm actually missing anything there. I just can't believe we just totally run out of quests and they're going to send us on to another zone. But hey, oh, no, maybe that you. is the way it's meant to be. Who knows? Anyway, let's sell up Cheer our... Up. Nope, let's close the window, I Sambo. Yeah, good one. Seek. Let's sell up our greys. There we go. And everything else there I think we can pretty much keep. Yep, and we do need to equip our new cowl at some point. I well, it's going to be hard to get that on me. Seriously, I do like it a lot. All right, so where can we go? Where else can we fly? Well, we can take a run down there. Of course, that's basically sending us into Desolus, which we could do. Uh, let's have a look at our quest log here. Southern Barrens, Stone Talon Mountains, Dustwallow Marsh, Desolus... Tell him Eco sent you. Northwash. Oh, I, I don't know. That one there is the only one that's still saying it's in the... Yeah. My, oh. Wow. I honestly don't know. What we might do actually, folks, is fly up to the Theldera Overlook. And maybe we'll go have a look at that cave and uh, see what's in there. I'm not sure. Either way, we've definitely run out of time for this episode. I'm just a bit sort of lost. I really expected there to be some more stuff sending us somewhere within the zone. So absolutely what I'll do is I will look that up 
on a, the WoW Wiki or on WoWhead and uh, see if I've missed something there. Otherwise, I guess it's on to a new zone, which will be very exciting for us. So there you go. Either way, it's all and more to look forward to in the next episode. And not forgetting, of course, that we also have to, now that we're getting very close to 36, we have to do the Scarlet Monastery Graveyard there, which of course runs through until the end of level 36. So perhaps uh, that's what we'll do for our next episode. Anyhow, folks, until then, it's me, Sambo, and of course our wonderful Wargan Mage, Seraphis, saying certainly hope you're having a great day wherever in the world you are. Thank you very much for stopping by and watching this episode. Look forward to seeing you next time. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.